Hey, I'm Jag, the author behind jagsjourney.blog, and today I'm going to be delving into all of the AdSense data behind my blog to date so far. So I'll be telling you exactly how much revenue I've made since starting my blog. I started my blog back in November 2020, so it's been almost two years now. You're probably thinking that will be a lot of revenue because you do hear about how much you can make off a blog online, and so I'm going to tell you just that. So before we get into all of the details, so my blog from the name, it's clearly all about my journey. So this is mainly to do with the ACA qualification, but I do like to talk through other things as well. So that will include laser eye surgery, Invisalign. There's also quite a bit on my career to date so far as well. So I am an external audit manager. And so I like to talk about that a lot as well. And you'll find that my YouTube channel does really kind of follow the blog. So when starting my blog in November 2020, I'll be honest, I had no idea at all how to start a website. I didn't know where to begin and I did a lot of research. If you're thinking about starting a blog, a website, honestly, I would just highly recommend it. So do check this video out and you'll find out the five easy ways to start your own website. It's honestly just amazing how many people you can help through your own blog or your own website. So if it is something you are considering, then monetization aside, I do think you should go for it. This video is solely focusing on the ad revenue that I've made from my blog. So this is all through Google AdSense. Google AdSense isn't the only way that I do generate income. I also make revenue through selling my book. I offer career advice. There's actually a products page on my website and you'll be able to kind of see all of the different things that I do offer. But okay, Google AdSense. So you are not eligible to apply straight away. And I kind of learned that the hard way because I did apply first and initially get rejected. When I decided I wanted to create my own blog, as I was finding out how to do it, lots of people were talking about generating income online from the blog, so I already knew about AdSense and that's why I tried to implement it just straight away. The reason that I did actually get rejected the first time, I think it is just because my website was then pretty much empty. There wasn't really anything on there. I hadn't actually posted any blogs at the time. There are a lot of program policies actually to kind of get accepted, but it's mainly the kind of typical rules that you think of. So, you know, nothing kind of offensive, inappropriate, harmful, those kind of guidelines. And of course, you need to be over 18. So to be eligible for Google AdSense, you do need to have your own unique and interesting content. So your pages need to be easy to navigate. Long story short, I did wait until I had about four blogs written. So once I'd written my first four and my website had a bit more to it, I then applied again. So I requested this on the 31st of December 2020 and I was then accepted on the 10th of January 2021. So it took about 10 days. I had to verify my address, do the kind of standard steps and then I was ready to start earning. <laughs> This might be quite obvious, but perhaps not. So I am just gonna actually say here that your AdSense revenue is really based on your views and your clicks. I'm actually wondering how that works. Just thinking about it, I'm pretty sure it is based on clicks, but a lot of the data and everything that it gives you is based on the RPM, which is the average earnings per the thousands of page views. My data goes all the way back to January 2021, and so that's where I'm gonna start from. All the page view data that I'm going to give you now, it's come from Google AdSense, but I do actually also track my statistics through Jetpack, which is a plugin available on WordPress. Between Jetpack and AdSense, I think overall, there's probably like an 8,000 view difference over the whole duration of having this data. And so that's actually not too much, and I think the reason probably for the difference is because the page views in Google AdSense is based on pages where you actually have ads showing and there are actually quite a few such as say my homepage, calendars, things like that on my website that I don't have ads on but then actually saying that thinking about it I think I do kind of have the pop-up ads and I don't know so yeah I, well long story short there's a slight difference but we're gonna say that Google AdSense is pretty accurate. Starting off with my average page views per day it's around 255, which I think is quite high. But that doesn't actually mean 255 visitors. But for example, if there's say 100 people, they're on average clicking on about two and a half pages per day. Looking at this graph then, that shows the distribution over all of the days. You'll actually see this huge spike. So that spike was about three and a half thousand page views that day. And I'll be honest, I kind of remember it 
and I think that's when my blog was getting spammed there was something like maybe a bot and it just kind of kept posting comments and I had to just keep going and deleting and blocking so yeah I wouldn't say that that day is accurate so moving on to months then which is probably easier to kind of digest but my monthly page view on average is 7,397. I actually think that's quite mad because I'll be honest, I am trying to currently get indexed on Bing. So I'm having some difficulty with that. It's just, it's been doing my head in. I don't really, I think there was a short time I was appearing on Bing, but really all of my page views are either coming from only Google or through of course word of mouth and through my social channels and things so fingers crossed i can get indexed on bing soon because then that'll mean that i'm also searchable on bing yahoo and yeah it'll probably bring a lot more views to my page so you'll notice of course at the start it was slowly picking up but to begin with in my first month it was about just under 3,000 views and then it really started to ramp up actually and went all the way to about 11,000 12,000 and then I guess it does kind of start to fall. So the reason actually behind this is because last year, December, that's around the time that I kind of stopped doing weekly blog posts and I moved onto YouTube and started doing weekly YouTube videos. And of course this month, we're only just over a week in, so it's quite low at the moment. But I would say then my average is probably fair now, not posting blogs consistently. That is actually around 7,000 average page views per month. My blog posts, they don't actually only have one ad per page. So because my blogs are quite long and detailed, probably on average within each blog, there's maybe say four ads. Let's just kind of say three or four. My page views so far since starting, or since getting this data in January 2021, it's 162,749. It's actually wild to me. I don't know about you, but I think that's quite a lot. So that's my page views but then my impressions, that's actually over half a million. So that is how many ads have been shown across my blog since January, 2021. Now let's put these views into the actual amount. My impression RPM, so the average earnings per 1000 impressions is actually around 61 pence. Remember that is per thousand impressions. So it's not that half a million. So don't worry, I have not earned like, pfft crazy amount but yeah if you are quick at maths then you probably can figure out what that amounts to but if not i'm gonna just kind of drag you through this next bit average earnings per thousands of page views that's actually one pound and 93 pence so my actual clicks so considering people have seen you know half a million of ads on my website since the start of last year in pretty much 21 whole months the actual clicks that i've had is only actually 1138 so that's not even actually 1%, it's just lower than that. But anyway, if you're just dying to know what the number is, so the actual amount that I've earned today on my blog in 21 months is actually 314 pounds and four pence. To some people, this is probably nothing at all. And to others, I might actually be quite impressed. I have to earn 60 pounds to get paid out. So I'm not getting paid out every single month. Maybe every three, four months is when I do get a payout. And so what you'll be able to see is actually only really had four so far. So what's actually really interesting that I found with the data is that the amount that I earn per click, it just massively varies. So my top earning day, and I definitely was screaming at this, it was £7.16 in just one day from Google Ads revenue. Now, some of you might be thinking it's not much, but when I first started, I was literally just seeing one or two pence per day. So this seemed huge. So on this day, my page RPM is actually about £25.50. I had 14 clicks. It's really weird though, because then another day, I actually had about 10 clicks, so you would think, okay, maybe about five pound is what I'd earn. But my page RPM is only about £2.56 on this day. What it meant is I actually only made £2.10 off 10 clicks, whereas off 14 on that day, where it had a higher page RPM, it was over £7. And to give another comparison, I had 10 clicks on another day. And you'd maybe think, okay, £2.10 again, but no, this was actually £1.29. What I have found is that it's actually just quite random and a bit unpredictable. And this obviously comes from the type of ads people are clicking and the amount of revenue that's going to come from those. So you know, each will kind of have different rates, but those ones that are the ones that pay more 
are of course the ones that generate me the most revenue. Then my highest earning month was then October and that was about £31 that month and up to that point every month it was just slowly increasing and increasing so I really thought it would probably keep going up but actually in very recent months it's only been around £10 a month but at this moment I'm definitely not at the point where I can say oh you know my ad revenue so much that I earn enough in a day that I don't need a day job and <laughs> yeah it's not really what I'm aiming for either but it is just nice to kind of have that extra passive income really interesting data to look at actually is my ad revenue by country so the majority of course is all pretty much based in the UK but there is actually about just under 30,000 views that have come from elsewhere but the next is actually Malaysia China the US Singapore Mauritius like it's <laughs> it's quite mad Malaysia I've actually had over two times more page views than actually Singapore what's mad is the revenue that I've actually got from Singapore is nearly five times the amount of Malaysia so like I said it all just really does vary it depends on the types of ads that are being shown and the ones that are being clicked on so there you have it I of course have not just done my blog solely for monetization purposes I am just so happy that I have managed to help so many people and people do actually recognize that because they have fortunately bought me coffees which also is a way to kind of add to my revenue thank you so much for watching I hope you found this video insightful maybe helpful if you are going to go and start your own blog and it kind of gives you an idea of maybe what to expect because you do really hear so much on the internet about you know oh start your own blog and you'll earn a thousand pounds in revenue in the first six months and things like that and I mean my blog I think it's of a good quality it's got good content but yeah it's definitely just not there so maybe you know if you're doing a blog in more of the personal finance areas and those kinds of things which I do touch on but that's not my sole purpose but I think those are the types that maybe pay higher revenue per click but yeah I don't know if you've got this far then do definitely give this video a thumbs up hopefully others will see it and it'll kind of help them give an expectation of what smaller time bloggers can earn like i said though it does massively vary so any questions any comments do drop them in the box below i'd be happy to address those and as always i will be back with more videos every single week so make sure you do subscribe and hopefully you'll see me again soon thanks